Now your WZDX pinpoint weather with meteorologist Emily Owen. So we said that I was an Alabama grad, but even though I'm not wearing crimson, but why don't you tell us a little bit about why you're wearing maroon? You know, y'all know by now that Jordan and I are <laughs> very, very big Mississippi State Bulldog fans, but I have to say Alabama is a close second for me. That's where all of my family, you know, they went and they're diehard fans. And, you know, we both worked at the University of Alabama together yep. while we were in college. So I do have a little piece of Alabama, but my heart lies with the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And a fun little story she brought her puppy Fitz when she got him way when he was a little baby and I watched him when his mom went on the news so it was yeah. really cool. Julia used to be Fitz's babysitter. <laughs> he learned something new every day. Hey speaking about football though let's go ahead and jump out to our graphics. I've got your football forecast for this Friday night. Gonna be a nice night across the Tennessee Valley for some football. We'll be in the mid 70s by the time we get to halftime. We will see mostly clouds but hey we're gonna be dry throughout the night tonight so it's gonna be a perfect night for some football. There are no clouds. I was talking about some of us catching a break in them right now but of course more clouds going to be building from the west into the Tennessee Valley so expect mostly clouds to pretty much last throughout the overnight that is all thanks to we've got a low pressure system that's going to be headed closer to the Tennessee Valley pushing those clouds into our area through the overnight speaking of football though we've got your collegiate games for Saturday so Alabama versus Miami going to be in Atlanta 85 by the time we get to kick off plenty of sunshine Auburn Tigers taking on uh, Akron partly cloudy sky and of course UNA is at home this weekend 83 degrees and we can't forget about Alabama A&M 82 by kickoff mostly sunshine for the overnight tonight like I said we'll continue to see mostly clouds we'll catch a break in the clouds after we get past midnight but most of us going to be staying in the mid to upper 60s for the overnight tonight and of course Labor Day weekend we've got a big weekend coming up Tomorrow will be at 87, mostly sunny. Mostly sunny skies continue for Sunday, 88 degrees for your Sunday. And of course, by Monday, we could see a few showers. Most of us will be remaining dry, 86 degrees for the high temperature. So let's go ahead and time out the rain that I was talking about earlier. So we've got a cold front that's going to be coming through early Sunday. We'll bring rain ahead of it and rain behind it as well. So it does look like rain will start to move into our area sometime in the afternoon and back behind it is a high pressure system that's going to clear us out. We will keep just a slight opportunity for rain. You know, we have those pop up afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Seven day forecast looks like this 87 for tomorrow. Like I said, Labor Day, a few isolated showers will be back in the mid to lower 80s by the time that we head into next week. Hey, Mo Carter will have uh, details on the game of the week coming up in just a bit. Stay with us.